Bill Schneider here from Rapido Trains Inc. I just got my new 44 tonner and I can't wait to see it run. So I'm bringing it down to my buddy Chris Adams' house to give it a test run down there. And Chris also tells me he got something new. So hopefully we can get some videos of both of our new toys. While I'm enjoying my ride down there, we'll fast forward over to Chris and let him show you what he's got. I'll see you there. All right, hi everybody, Chris Adams from the Valley Local. You guys may have uh, seen me on Facebook or on the blog, but the reason we're here today, this is gonna be a, a little unboxing of a little locomotive. This is the Rapido 44 Thunder. This is the New Haven version, of course, uh, number 0802. So first you slide off the sleeve, very easily, obviously. And then we have the box itself, which is very cool. It's got the little blueprint on the outside, great graphics on the outside. It's a very thick box. Ooh, this is very cool. So this is the operator's manual and the, uh, the owner's manual. It's actually got, looks like some uh, vintage graphics. And then, let's see, the foam. Ooh, and there's the locomotive itself. Look at that. So it just comes right out of the foam, like so. And there's yet another sleeve. We've got a sleeve of plastic here to slide the locomotive out, like so. And more foam bits. I hear that you can throw these things off the top of a building in the packaging and they don't damage, but I wouldn't recommend it. You just want to Take off that um, end piece there, and that will allow you to open up the clamshell. Be very careful when you take the locomotive out. It looks like it has, yes it does, it has uh, standalone um, handles on the doors, and those uh, handles on the doors are right about where you would put your thumb and forefinger, so make sure that you pull it up by around the cab windows so you're not crushing any of the uh, delicate door detail. And here we are, we've got our locomotive out of its little sarcophagus. As you can imagine, the detail on these things, just like all Rapido models, is very, very fine. You don't want to be banging around on it, but it's pretty robust, so you don't have to uh, be too uh, anxious about it. But it has uh, full underbody detail, like all Rapido products. Nice rendering of the lettering and all the cool stuff, like a builder's plate on each side, it looks like. So that's very cool. It is out of the box, and I think the next thing we're going to do is uh, try to put it on the layout and see how she runs. All right. Hey, Chris. You said you had something new, and I brought something too, hey, man. Well, I got... I've got uh, the new 44 tonner. As soon as I uh, check it out. How did you get yours before I got mine? <laughs> uh, I know somebody else, I guess. <laughs> We're in. But check it out. Hey. Check it out. Look at it go over the grass field right away. Not a problem. That is very, very cool. So nice to see him in person instead of staring at him on the computer screen. And so nice to see it operate. So nice that on the layout it looks it, but it looks exactly where it should be. So uh, I've been playing with this all day and really in loving it, but I thought you said you brought something to run yourself. Did you bring anything yeah, at all? I brought a little something. Oh, I, I, I think I see it in the distance. This is something to class up the main line here. Oh, a little something is right. Holy cow. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Those through uh, freight's got to get moving again, you know? Good grief. I ball into New York. <laughs> I think we're lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
a lot of tonnage for a little 44 tonner. Yeah, not bad. Sweet. So Chris, thanks for having us over again. It's been great, a uh, great chance to see the little beastie at work on a beautiful layout, all looking great. Very cool, thank you for coming. It's uh, really fun having a nice little uh, 44 tonner on the railroad to switch cars around and everything. And you can see I've done a little bit of scenery since you were here last. You put ballast in. <laughs> yes, I did. It's only been in. 10 years? Uh, not quite 10 years, maybe uh, nine. <laughs> <laughs> so You uh, might yeah. want to get some weed, uh, weed a little killer. Weed killer? killer? Yeah. yeah, maybe the 44 tonner can pull a weed sprayer. We'll have to uh, <laughs> see if Rapino puts one of those out. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Thank you. The lunatics! So here's a neat little spot along the old valley line. This is the Shalerville Bridge in Haddam. Boy, it would be great to have a time machine to get back here and see a 44 tonner running on this, wouldn't it? Oh well, we can dream. Torpedo trains are slow track to model railroading fun. Lionel's gonna kill you for that. <laughs> <laughs>